So for the most part, I'd say lawn care is pretty predictable, but there is one thing that if you forget to do something, it's gonna bite you, and it's gonna really catch you off guard, and I don't want that to happen to you. So I wanna talk about what you need to apply, when you need to apply it, and what you're trying to prevent. Here we go. So every year in the late spring, early summer months, probably around mid-May to mid-June, you want to consider applying a preventative to prevent grub worms from invading and destroying areas of your lawn. So when it comes to grub worms, mitigation is your best friend and it's a pretty inexpensive application to do. Obviously that depends on how big your yard is, but even for the about 10,000 square feet that I'm dealing with here, I'm into this maybe 40 bucks and the product that I'm gonna show you often goes on sale. So I'll make sure to leave a link in the description so you can check it out. A lot of times um, Amazon will list it for sale. Um, typically during the fall, so you can uh, buy in advance, get it on sale, and then you have it ready to go for the following spring season. So the product I'm gonna be using and showing you here is GrubX from Scott's, and this is both a uh, preventative and curative product. So if you're looking to prevent grubs from taking over or if you've already found grubs or have grub damage, you can put this down either way. Now, mitigation, like I said, is your best friend. You wanna get this down before they come out of their hibernation state. And I think Scott's does a really good job on their uh, labeling on the back here, kind of teaching you how uh, the life cycle of grubs works. And basically the short of it is that uh, they come out of hibernation in the springtime and they'll start eating at the roots of the grass and then they'll um, uh, turn into beetles and they'll surface up in, in the lawn and they'll lay eggs in the summertime and then in the fall they go back into hibernation and then the process just repeats every year. So this product is gonna help disrupt that process and it's gonna help uh, prevent uh, any uh, damage that could potentially happen from the grubs eating away at the roots and um, creating a lot of damage in the lawn. So if you have some yellow spots in your lawn, um, one of the first things that you can do uh, around late June or so, uh, early summer months, pull up on that and if the roots come out really easy or if it just comes up out of the ground really easy, you likely have grubs. So keep digging around in the areas, look kind of into the good grass, kind of on the border, dig around, take your time and look for grubs. They look kind of like this. And if you can uh, find them early, uh, before they cause any other damage, then you'll be fine and repairing won't be too bad. Uh, but if you let them go, they're just gonna keep going and going and going and it can get really, really bad. So uh, for me, I like to try and do my best to remember to put this down uh, as a preventative measure so I don't have to deal with any damage later on. So this is a 14 pound bag and it goes down almost at three pounds per thousand. and. It's like the label says about 2.87 pounds per thousand or something like that. I'm just gonna round it up to three pounds per thousand to make the math easy and spread it out evenly across the lawn and I'll be good to go. So there you go, that is one of the most important tips that I can give you uh, during the lawn season is to not let yourself be surprised by grub damage when you could easily and inexpensively prevent it. So hope that's helpful for you. I'll leave a link down in the description below so if you can check this out, keep an eye out for the sales and get you some uh, as soon as possible. It needs to go down, like I said, early, early summer, late spring time and you'll be good to go and you'll have nothing to worry about so hope that's helpful for you train hope that's helpful for you 
thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed to the channel. I'll catch you next time.